Okay, this is video number four. In the last video, we made equations based off of moving our graphs right and left. Now I'm giving you an equation and I want you to um, graph it. So you have to first figure out what is this equation saying? What kind of transformation? Remember, whenever you see parentheses, you know it has to either be right or it has to be left. So look at what's in the parentheses. When I see a plus sign, does that mean right or left? Well, I'm gonna go back to my notes. When I see a plus sign in the parentheses, it means left. It means left. So this equation right here, I'm going to put in words first. It means left two, left by two. So, and I'm also going to highlight this because this is um, what I'm going to be. I'm using the red points to show it. Just like before, I'm going to start with my orange points, which is my parent function. And from every orange point, I'm going to count left two and put a red point. So I like to start in this right hand corner, this first orange point, you start wherever you want. So I'm going to pick my red point up and count left to one, two. Here's my first one. Then my next orange point, I'm going to count left one, two. And if you notice it's hitting my other orange point, that's okay. They can overlap. I was looking for that final product. What does the whole graph look like when you move it left to? My next one is going to start in the middle and move it left one, two. Please don't move the orange points. Make sure you're using the red points. I want to see where did I start and where did I finish? Left two. And then I have one more right from this top left, left one, two. And you can see the shape is still the same. If the shape's not the same, you've messed up, right? And then the last thing, I'm going to click this black um, dotted line and move it to fit my transformation. I just moved that whole graph left to.